Welcome to the Forum Thread Podcast number eight. Woo-hoo! Here we have myself, Chaos Mana, with Nobod. Yo. Wub Wave. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm fucking lagging, so if I sound really behind, that's why. And <laughs> a new like... special guest, Mr. Radius. I will ban you all. <laughs> no, hey guys. So what was the... Starting with Dark One. <laughs> What was the question you wanted to ask, Wilbur? Oh, what's my question? How do you, Mr. Vadius, become an admin? Because someone I know, <laughs> not me, wants to become an admin and have all that power. How does one go about that? Well, first of all, you don't ha- you don't ask. You never ask. Okay, I mean, you don't ask. See, what you do is and you, I haven't. You need to be really um, <laughs> careful with your. Oh, let's see. What happened? What are you trying yeah, to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say? Oh, no, it was just a problem with Nobod. He dropped out. Anyway, Ooh. um, so you just need to be really careful and, you know, sneak up behind the people at Rooster Teeth, hold up a knife, and say, I want to be admin. It's about how I you assume do. the only way to become an admin is to kill another uh, admin. I can't, I can't <laughs> confirm or deny any of those theories. I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I can just. But did you have to meet the cast? <laughs> see, see, that's why he's number fifty-five. There were 40, uh, 54 other radiuses. Before no, there were him. there were fifty. Killed 56. No, there were fifty-five. You always count from zero. Oh shit! Yeah, be careful <laughs> when radius fifty-six comes up. Watch out. <laughs> maybe Webway. Maybe no radius is a title, not a name. And Webway could be the new radius. <laughs> hey, that's like makes Captain me... Falcon. Like, have you ever watched the Captain Falcon anime? They have an no, anime for just that? Me? Okay. All three people out there are got, just got really excited because you mentioned the Captain Falcon anime. <laughs> you... Okay, what what exactly is that about? Uh, I haven't. I've only seen part of it. I only see the part where Captain Falcon dies, and I guess he gives his title to some other dude. Is that from this day forward, uh, Kakiko son, you are the new Captain Falcon? And then he punches someone with a falcon. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope. laughs> Every episode he has to punch uh, just one. All I know from Captain Falcon is what I, uh, is I what know. I learned from watching a bunch of people play Super Smash Brothers with him. And that is that he says Falcon Punch a lot. And Falcon Kick. Yeah. And Falcon what? Lunch. And F Zero. <laughs> probably gonna play F Zero tomorrow because I have the VOM on my computer. It's actually kinda fun. Is that a racing game? No, it has nothing to do with racing. Would it, would it ever give you that idea? <laughs> What's that Captain Falcon racing game thing? F-Zero. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were being serious. <laughs> <That's what he's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay then. Hey, what's that Star Fox game? Oh, it's Star Fox. <laughs> that game's fun. You just fly around in planes well, which and Star do Fox barrels. game? You're, you're talking about the original one? Isn't there only uh, one? Oh, Star no, Fox 64. Go barrel. There's one before it, isn't there? Yeah, Not I mean they, they've made a they've made a new one recently. I agree with Radius. Do a barrel roll. Wait one second. One second. Something else will. Everyone shut up. We have to wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? My computer's doing a barrel roll. <laughs> okay, game. Okay, my computer's done a barrel roll. It's done. I would copy you, but that would be copying, and I don't copy. Are you still recording? You just, you just cut and paste. Ugh. Crap, <laughs> cut and but paste now all my, all my cords are tangled now. Fuck. Now I'm just imagining him sitting up, just completely in a massive, th- barely able to type on his keyboard, just like... I'm all, I'm... Is that why I always die in Star Fox whenever I do a, dar- do a barrel roll? Cause, why? I don't know. The... Planes are remote. The planes, rem- the planes get t- the planes get tangled up in their wires. <laughs> yeah, they haven't devised non plug planes. They're all connected to the Great Fox via this little charge cable because they haven't invented good batteries yet. Yeah. To save on fuel. They only have double A's so far. And you need like a ton of them just for like an hour of driving. It's not worth it. No, it'd be like eight D batteries. Maybe you tr- 
each mission in Star Fox is like what five minutes. So you might but, not be wrong. You might be powering those sh things. Well, on, unless uh, you're talking about adventures. Maybe you tried to do an actual. Unless you're talking about role. actually following. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Or you could actually get inside of a barrel. And roll down and a hill. Roll. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, what kind of barrel though? Is it gonna be like one of those banana barrels from Donkey Kong? Shout out to you, Dark. Or is it gonna be like a fish barrel? Or you can shoot fish in a barrel. Or you can use dynamite on fish in a barrel. Or you can shoot. That would or be you can fun. Shoot barrels at fishes. We're doing that whenever we go to the freaking uh, barbecue at Dark's house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Dynamiting yeah, fish we do in it a in barrel. His living room. In Darkwind Dry's living room. Nice! Do you, you actually health? have a weapon of any kind that you own? Me? Well, no, I, I can, I, I'm guessing you do because of your picture. Because I live in Texas? Hell yeah. Oh, that too. That helps. Wait, you have a picture? Uh, you can't, I got. You can't. Go ahead. No, you you go ahead. No, Luke McKay. Uh, I commissioned Luke McKay to draw a picture of me, and he drew me uh, as a zombie hunting shotgun toting badass, which I am. But he couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> How would? You... <laughs> and blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that happening. I'm surprised that it hasn't happened sooner. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I am too. I don't know why uh, admins and mods have just kept me around for this long on Rooster Teeth. Because you amuse am us. Am I that special? <laughs> you amuse I us. I do. Well, I mean, am it, I known? You're not. You're. You're. You misbehave, but it's just kind of like a, you know, a bad, you know, no, don't do that sort of thing. But other people. You know, get crazy and take it too far. Yeah, people get You're pissed at me a lot. You have people get pissed. Regular people get pissed at me a lot. You have allies, or one ally, Mike. Who's he does? I thought he was uh, in no, like Well, actually, Mike. No, actually, I I just assumed that because you're both bronies. No, Mike's an asshole. No. <laughs> we Mike, absolutely hate listen, Mike. You, hey, uh, on that topic. You listen, yo. Can you do us a favor? Mike killed. Oh. Yes, Mike killed the uh, level twenty form thread pony uh, thread. So do us a favor yeah. and reactivate that thread. Can you do that? I can, but I'm assuming Mike has a reason. Mike did not have a reason. He just yeah, did it Mike, because he's a cunt. He, no, no. If you know, if you listen to the podcast, Mike will be Mike for just different reasons. <laughs> Anything that inconveniences his ponies makes me happy. So no, I'm not going to reactivate it. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, we'll have to go with our plan before no bot. We'll have to go with our plan and so you can get talk. working on that to bring it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll just what's petition your plan? So. <laughs> What was Petitions our plan? don't work. <laughs> you don't know. Then what was our plan? What was our plan? I thought your plan was just yes, let's a, tell the moderator. That's right here what our plan is. Sort of thing, but uh, that's not going to get you anywhere. I didn't think we had a plan. <laughs> you said Did you had a plan earlier. At least tell, if, tell us if we have a plan. Put it put it in the chat thing really so he doesn't see it. <laughs> um, isn't he in the chat? <laughs> uh, uh, no, he's not. And that typing anyway, does not speaking suggest of, otherwise. Sp speaking of bands <laughs> and ponies, the My Little Pony thread got fucking crazy last weekend. I, I, yeah, I, I actually did hear about that. <laughs> no shit. Well, no, okay, whoa, whoa, if you heard about it, since I don't know, what happened then? Apparently a million freaking... An internet fight. Apparently a million freaking posts got censored. <laughs> Yeah, and oddly, not a single one of them were mine. And I, I, and I made a mention to the same failed. topic they did. No, I made a mention to the same topic they did, and I was not censored once. What was the topic? Yeah, it was... 
I don't even remember now. Uh, we don't want to talk about it because it will result in a pan- banning and deletion. So yeah, it's, it's not, not going to talk about. It. We're going to say it's <laughs> fucking not, not by not like, by me. I just want to say I I don't like ponies, but I'm not going to go out of my way to uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to uh, destroy them. I'm not going to go out of my way to help yeah. them, but I'm not going to yeah. go out of my way to destroy. Yeah, them. I mean that's that's pretty much where I am. I'm not like this crazy anti whatever. I just don't care for it. Now, would you? I will tell you this: the topic that, the topic that got deleted had nothing to do with ponies. (laughs) Well, that's pretty obvious. That might be what. Did it have something to do with mass hate? Because I might have started that. (laughs) No. I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to get deleted. I know that. I can feel it. I can feel my account being how how besides this this one, what other mods or admins are going to listen to this? You don't know. They're everywhere. <laughs> Mike, Mike's secret. We already have working. one here. He's probably sending information. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. I should have thought about that. He's. Oh god. I'm sorry, guys. I let a spy into our little uh, uh, meeting. Here. Yeah, I've got I've got Demano and Mike and Roadblock all standing behind me right now. Say hi, guys. They're shy. They don't want to say anything. Oh, I was, I was half expecting another, like, you to either shout from behind your mic, or or there to actually be another voice. Would you say they're flutter shy? <sighs> no. That was a pun towards Mike, Jesus Christ. No. I hear he likes flutter shy. Close your account. Close your account, that was no. awful. <laughs> Just give up. You, you, you're banned from the, the the show and the community from that. Who would have known I'd, get be, I'd be banned for not being funny? <laughs> Why is it that every podcast I'm in just devolves into people saying, Can you ban this guy? Are you going to ban me? Are you going to ban him? I'm not. Well, I've never banned. At least we're funny about it. I've never banned an account except for spam bots. Those are the only accounts I've banned. Permanently. At least we're funny about it. We are best podcast. Well, what about that light one dry one? Mm. Yeah, did that get banned? What happened to well, that? Well, he got he. I think he had it deleted. Deleted. Which one? Why? Because um because like isn't there something in the rules that you can't? Have? Oh that that just... one uh I didn't. It was someone else that banned that one. I was just la- I was laughing at that one. And frankly, I've seen how many accounts Gavin has uh, attached to his atta- or secondary accounts. Um, I can kind of understand you having a second account. It's just if you use it to, if you abuse, if you use it to like give you a ton of mods or something, I will delete it. But I can see having a second account just for laughs. Wait, so get, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Has a bunch of extra accounts. Does that <laughs> yes, mean that one of the people that we know could be Gavin in disguise? I could tell him. It's black I ashes. I could tell him oh, about shit. ten seconds if they I'll tell are. You guys, it's but me. no, Gavin hasn't used these accounts in forever. I'm pretty sure they're. I'm Aww. pretty sure these are testing accounts or just accounts for screwing around with. Well, t- speaking about people that have multiple accounts, in our little part of the uh, forums there, or should I say my part of the forums, it's mine, back off. <laughs> well, we have someone that has many accounts, and it's really weird. And they were almost our last resort for the podcast tonight, and it would have been bad, so thank Is you. Is it Lewis Let's, or Evan? Let's not talk shit about people that aren't here. Is it Lewis or Evan? Why not? Let's not talk shit about people who aren't here. Yeah, Mike. Well, isn't isn't that the whole point the of people not being here to talk about <laughs> yeah this is why we do this we do this for the rooster teeth community that can't be on here right now talking with us even though they could be and we're just excluding them just to make us better but still <laughs> we should have like an airing of grievances like for festivus like that's what we should do during the holidays for festivus is just have an airing of grievances of everyone we know Tell him what they're doing wrong. <laughs> no, just just pull up a list. Them. Have have him pull up a list of all uh, active accounts, and then we'll just read it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you could, to. Why don't we out. talk about what people are doing right? How about that person who has Troyman or has Troymander in an N7 costume <laughs> as their uh, Neo Maxim? <laughs> they're doing something right. I can tell you that. 
They're doing a lot right. I swear that that was one of the best picks I've ever seen on Rooster Teeth. He, they made a Chupa-ish version of that as well. Yeah, but that's less cool. <laughs> it's the same not, thing. That's not coming out of a little tiny ball now, is it? Except Chow Man is cool. Think about how many Commander Shepard spitting fires you can have stored in a little room if they're all in Pokeballs. Ooh, Ooh yeah, see? Take that, Reapers. But would the armor go into the Pokeball? <laughs> Massive! <laughs> And if, one, and if one no, of them no, dies, the you just return it to the Pokeball and take it to Nurse Joy, and she'll revive it in ten seconds. Wait. Uh, Nurse Joy already shit. killed herself. She had too much to work on. Nurse Joy... Nurse Joy works for Cerberus. It, one thing, I mean, oh, I know this is, most, this is definitely been said before, but it still bother, bothers me that they say, we hope to see you again after yeah. every time we heal. Yeah, they're kind of assholes yeah. like that. Like, I what mean, if I'm... Pokemon Commander Shepard only has three attacks. <laughs> what were his attacks? Blue and green. Oh, wait, say them again? Com uh, I was going to say Commander Shepard has uh, only three attacks. Red, green, and blue. <laughs> oh! No, he has four. The, the attack that kill that gets everyone screwed. The attack that screws everyone. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is, what, is, what does blue shields. attack do? Red, green, and blue. Oh, I get it. It's the chat. <laughs> it's the chat. <laughs> the gears were things. turning this whole time. Oh, I was, I was thinking. I got really confused, and I was like, "Oh, it's the little circular chat thing that you use when you play Mass Effect." No. No. Whatever no, would give no. you that. That's no, the endings yeah. of Mass Effect. What Mass Effect game do you play that has a green conversation? Ability. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> well, at the very end. I can mod it. it. I'm modding it. I'm gonna mod it right now, just for spite. I was hoping to make a uh, Pokemon Vom hack that's Mass Effect, and instead of having Pokemon, you have each of the crew members, like Garrus, like Garrus, I choose you. Uh, I like that Pony Sean. mod, like Pony mod, but it's gonna be Massimon. Massimon. Yeah, that sounds uh, we'll like a Pokemon a itself. We'll, we'll have to. Do you know how actually how to make those type of mods? Uh, I mean, I would think. Uh, I downloaded the me. modding tools and I probably looked up tutorials if I really felt like it. Google will tell me all. It's still a very, very tough business. You'd have to be dedicated to make it anywhere close to good. Yep. Yeah, and I'm not dedicated to shit, so we'll find someone else who can do it. How about the guy who made Ponymon? Actually, they were he's rather. Finished Ponymon. That's. Yeah, they're... he was rather lazy. He like, there's so many background ponies, and he put like three of them in the beginning. I mean, three of the main six, and then when you're walking to the first place, as I saw in your thing, there was only like two or three. I, think he... I saw a list of sprites. I think he has like a hundred down that are just like what? some of them are like just copies. What of did you see? The original. He saw his assassin, and he just killed him huh? before he could finish the sentence. <laughs> I saw... I can see. Oh, did I lag out? Yeah. I can see the future. Must have been Mike finishing the job. Ben. Yeah. He's deleting my Skype account right now. <laughs> the Ben Cannon. He, he is um, very good at interneting stuff, because he does run this, their own internet box site. You know, if I clicked my I, mouse I right now, something very bad would happen. It would be hilarious. Oh shit, very... he's over my page on the delete <laughs> profile <laughs> thing. Fuck! <laughs> no. I moved it. I moved my mouse now, nothing bad will happen. <laughs> ha have you ever accidentally clicked something you shouldn't have admin related? Wait, I know what he was over. He was the he was over the make nobot a moderator <laughs> button. No, I don't have that I don't have that ability. There are um, let's see. They have to convene in a moot to elect the High King. Nope. And then the... Only staff has that power. Only staff has the power to change your username and to make a modern admin. And staff will not change your username nine, nine times, 99 times out of 100.
so don't ask. So we have to ask a hundred times? No, no, no if staff you do, usually if do. If you do that, I will ban you. Um, no, um, staff, like, But Adam, you just told me to. Usually if you just ask Adam, you know, when he's free, and it's a reasonable request, he'll just go ahead and do it, or I know Barbara Damn might it, also. You're, t you're giving away the secrets. No, nine? There's a user... There's a user called Shazbot, and I want his name, but I kind of want to keep my name too. Yeah, you're already Wub Wave. What will Wave? What will Wave Wub do without you? <laughs> I'd probably he'd implode. Have to, he'd have to. He'd have to sell his hat. He'd probably be Bot Shaz. Hey, why don't bot you just Shaz, be? Yeah. Why don't you just be Bot Shaz, Wub Wave? Yeah. Shazbot comes from. Uh, well, it comes from other stuff, but I always. Start from a uh, tribe's ascend, which I have to say is a very fun game and is free. That doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why, but there's just something about it that makes me want to throw my laptop out the window. But I'm outside. So okay, no so radius. Yep. In your opinion, what is better, Xbox gaming or PC gaming? Oh God, don't. So there's a lot of. There's more. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. Noob. Uh, okay. Did you just call me noob? So it's it's what I always read your name at. I always read your name as noob. <gasps> you too? Yeah. You too? Yeah. Fuck. I was about to mention something that everyone keeps doing that, and that's why I want my name changed. But then I realized, oh wait, that's my DJ name. I can't do that. <laughs> Wow, I thought that was well because I always read, even though I know it's not pronounced that yeah. way, I just read it at, like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I like oh, I like how there, you can mod PC stuff like crazy, and that's awesome. But I also like how you can pop in a disc into a 360 and know that it will work, and absolutely know that it will work. Yeah. So, and I love how I can take yeah. a PC mod and put it into my 360 and make it work for my 360. <laughs> you know what? You need to show me. <laughs> no. To me that you got that done because no one needs to know about my I don't believe that you got awesomeness. that Mass Effect Battlefront. Well, mod. I mean, you can always say that you can do certain stuff, and it, it takes proof. I know it is possible to mod, as people have done it. It's possible to mod the Xbox. It's just tons harder. Hell, I've seen an Xbox modded to play in 64 games. That's awesome. You can do that on a computer in like a minute. Well, yeah, I've got, be I've got an A64 can... and a yeah, but... PS2 emulator on my computer, but that's not that's not the point. I've seen an original Xbox modded to play both Xbox games and uh, and PS... Or, sorry, um... Play, um... In 64 ROMs. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. But you know what? That is not as cool as the I really wish they made an Xbox emulator. <laughs> yeah, you wish. I. That They're not going to do that until the, at what? least the newest one comes yeah. out. No, that would take like an hour to download each game. By <laughs> the way. No, like the, origi the so? original Xbox does not have an emulator. It's annoying. It makes well, me sad. Cause I won't be, I won't be able to play Metal Wolf Chaos in, for, until they finally do. The real, the original Xbox could be modded to be its own emulator. <laughs> By the way, just letting you know. Well, if you had the original Xbox, wouldn't that mean that you can just play the original Xbox? Yeah, but on the original Xbox, there was also this thing that people were doing where you could just, you could just put a disc in and then download the disc onto the Xbox and be able to play it at any time without the disc. I never figured that out. But it was really cool. I mean, uh, that the only reason that's a problem is because if you put a disc in, it pops over to the menu. I mean, like it starts up the game immediately. Like there's no dashboarding. It's been forever since I've turned on mine. I I had a uh, original Xbox for all of six months, and then I got a 360. I, I had, had my original Xbox for years. Well, I had my like. For probably when it closer. To, well, actually, when did the um, original Xbox first come out? You're on a computer. Google it. 2000. I was like, well, some, like pe 2000, some people might know random trivia I was like that. So young. I. Uh, let me check. Well, I'm, Wait. Here's a good question, Radius. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 21. 
you were young, but, but I was young too. It was. It came out in late two thousand one. Uh, no, I was pretty damn young. I was. I can barely remember back then. I was still playing. Hey, I remember still playing. Hey, you Pikachu when uh, Xbox came out. I haven't. My main game systems was actually the GameCube and PlayStation Two. So I start. I yeah. started out on the Game Boy. Then I went to the Nintendo sixty four. Then the PS two. Then the Xbox, and then the Xbox three sixty. I started out on Xbox, Nintendo, uh, GameCube, Sega. I started out playing literally everything <laughs> on like twenty different consoles at all the time. At the same time? Yeah. Well, sometimes I would be playing two games at once. Like, I'd be playing Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and it pissed me off so much because I could never figure out shit, because I was like four. And now my sister's calling me, fuck. Just so everyone <laughs> knows that wasn't me. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to meet this damn shit there. Did he get cut off too? It, it sounded like he was, um, like... It sounded like he was purposely censored. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> Someone heard him talking shit about Majora's Mask, and that was it. Yeah. Well, as, as soon as he was about to say another word, yeah, I, I yeah, know, I like, know what he's talking about. I couldn't, I couldn't get through. I couldn't get half of the stuff. I could. Sorry, I couldn't get through the Water Temple on Majora's Mask. I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> I stopped playing Ocarina of Time because it just was boring and hard, and I hated it. Yeah. I. What about the What about the other games in that series? Let's see. I could never get the redstone in um, Ocarina of Time, and I can never beat the Water Temple in Majora's Mask. And then I quit playing Zelda. <laughs> oh, what about Twilight? I didn't. I never got a Wii. It's on, um, it was originally on GameCube. I never got a GameCube either. Alright guys, I have a small issue. You're a crazy noodle. That's part of it. I have a party to go to, like, right now, so... Well, I will see you guys later. This is Nobod signing out of the podcast. Later. Which is not a surprise, because I have a life. See you guys. <laughs> so, he's implying he has a life. <laughs> No, he's just gonna actually sit there. Yeah. He's he's still in the he's still in the call room. He just he just was nodding off, so he's just gonna take a little yep. nap right now. Yep. <laughs> that's what that's <laughs> what I figured. Going. That's what I figured. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, then why are you still in the? Like, <laughs> Don't pay attention to the man yeah, behind the curtain. Be silence. The, <laughs> that is this true. Is just gonna, this is going to be silence. A random gap of silence uh, while we're listening to Not No Bod. Yeah. Oh All right. my god. Anyway, speaking of old games. Speaking of old games, I'm almost done with more Metroid Zero Hour, and it's fucking fun, and I wish I played Metroid when I was younger, because I is missed a whole bunch. I do enjoy the Metroid game. Like... When I played Metroid Prime, I had so much fun, like, just going through the... I, th I think it's a really well-designed series. Zero Hour, was that on the Game Boy Advance or on the GameCube? On the Game Boy Advance. I think Advanced. I played that. Yeah, I, I think, think I remember really played I think the game... I think the Game Boy, um, Game Boy one started with Prime. Yeah, if I... I mean, GameCube, uh, I sorry. I think Prime was on the GameCube. But, That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, I remember playing Prime briefly, but I never really got into it. Yeah. Shut up, Nobod, you're not here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now get out. <laughs> We're just going to randomly be saying yes to somebody. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway... Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway. Pretty person in Gavin. Met Metroid's a really fun, like, side school. I mean... For okay, Ray, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> no one's gonna know what we're talking about. <laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's only humorous for us, but for anyone else... For anyone else listening... Yes, we'll, go. For anyone else listening, it would just be like... We, we, we sit there and then... 
Yeah. Uh, and then just, you know, blank spots in between that. Well, um... Anyway. Bye, Ghost Robot! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Or is he still there? Yeah. Nobody can tell. Because he... <coughs> nah, he's gone. Let's talk shit about him. Yep. Like that group that has been created that has, like, a decent amount of members in it. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, everyone hate. Nobody likes Nobot? Is that the group you're talking about? Yeah. I wish I had a hate group. Um, you, how many followers do you have? Uh, 80? Off the top of my head? I mean, I don't know. I think I have like 91 friends and 80 something followers. Let's see. As far as I know, I don't have a hate group. Hmm. <laughs> You're checking. That's because if you made a hate group against mods, it gets deleted. Well, yeah, instantly. see, that, that's the thing. Even though it, it seems like you're, you're the type of person that would really care in either way, I think they would still be afraid of doing that. And there's not enough people to really get behind you because I don't think a lot of people dislike oh, you. Oh, there are some people who dislike me, but the feeling's mutual. <laughs> Like the people in the image thread and such? Uh, most of them don't. Most of them are fine with me. It's just a couple. There are a couple of people, and they know who they are, and I, and I know who they are, and just I'm not going to name any names, but they don't like me. They really don't like why, me. Why? Why in the world does it turn into discussions in that thread? I mean, <laughs> I know a lot of the threads are um. Our little group is in go off topic, but how do you go off topic from images into actual arguing? Because some images can be really, really polarizing. The some image, every once in a while, an image will come around, and the people who like it really like it, and the people who don't like it really hate it, and the people who like it feel the need to defend it, and the people who don't like it feel the need to say exactly how it's wrong and uh, it's just annoying yeah like I remember you commented that like you came back after like going out to lunch or something and you came back to that yeah I just I just learned to the only thing you can do is tell people to go back to posting images you can't if you ban someone from the thread, it just causes drama. If you delete pictures, it just causes drama. Uh, all you can do is tell people, hey, this is an images thread. What you should do is, instead of deleting images, since you can edit posts without that little thing coming up, just change it to a <laughs> change it to your own image. <laughs> I should, but people would get... But that, that would... <laughs> just different... Just different pictures of your face. Yeah. As a joke, once or twice, that kind of thing's fine. But if you abuse it, the people, people get people complain. Well, I mean, it's not when you're when you're using it as a funny way to censor something. It's not abusing power. I sh that, but it's you know, a, that's pretty a, much up to your censor, discretion. That actually might be a good idea to censor something with. Just have my own image saying this was censored by Radius. Or just no, just just a picture of you holding out a finger, and it says no. <laughs> I need to find someone who can actually draw, uh, who can actually draw stuff decently that can and commission them to make that for me, because that would be awesome. <laughs> well, you could literally take a photo of yourself yeah, if you wanted. I I pref I mean, I don't mind having my picture on the internet. I just make want people to have to work to find it. I don't want to put it out there. I don't, that's yeah. fine. I have pics of myself everywhere. I I have pictures of myself in my gallery, but I I don't want to just advertise. Hey, this is what I look like. Well, you sort of. I mean, if you're since I know how good Luke does, your picture right there sort of shows what you look like already. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a pretty good likeness to me, but mm, I don't. I just prefer it to be like a drawn picture. 
Yeah, it is. It is really interesting. The one that he did for me. Have you seen that one? I don't. No, I can't remember off the top of my head. I've probably seen it, but I can't remember it. It was the one where I was the meta <laughs> with Sigma. Let's see. I think I can remember it. I wish I had a drawn picture of me. Well, you pretty you much just have to. Like it's really, really simple. You just have to either be prepared to search for long and hard for someone that'll do it free, or have a pretty nice amount to spend up front. Uh, I. Oh, fuck that. Luke wasn't bad. Luke was. Luke wasn't. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't too bad. It's not too bad to commission him for a headshot. Yeah, mine was a full everything, so it was probably a bit more. Yeah. How much did you pay? Um, around a hundred. Uh, oh yeah, that's. I'm looking at that picture right now. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, the only the only disappointing thing is is just because like I had actually called for that like months ago and just because of random things he wasn't able to get around to it so that's why I'm not using it as my uh, current um, picture because I just now got a new one uh, nice I like my current picture that I have up there that replaced my stupid face <laughs> yep <laughs> but, but your hat your hat was the main focus of of all the chats still there. I'm no, it's My hat's still there in spirit. For the <laughs> longest time, I had this demotivational picture as my avatar, and then, then I think I had a picture of me at helping at the last at the last RTX, and then I changed it to Luke McKay's drawing, and that's what it's been forever. It is. It is. I used to change my picture like every week. Mm -hmm. Well, it does, I mean, people get used to seeing the same yeah. images, so it does get a bit off-putting when you change it. I mean, I probably am going to keep the one I have now for, probably just keep that one. I don't plan on switching. The only thing I'll switch now is my <coughs> sponsor tag every now and then. And that helps. Yep. So, um... But we were saying about other old games. What's your favorite one from back back in the day when you had those old systems? I really like Star Fox, yeah. but I already mentioned Star Fox. Uh... Oh, I remember there was a game for the N sixty four called Army Man. That's about plastic army men fighting. I remember that one for some reason. Me and my friend played the shit out of that, yeah. <laughs> what about the worst one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the first game I ever played on the N64, and I don't want to go back and try to find a copy of it, because I know it's probably going to be shitty, is Star Wars Pod Racer. I actually liked that game. Which, that game was fun. at the time, is it, was it good? Because I played last played it when I was like, Six, it was it was so hard. I'm not sure if my memory. It was is. hard, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good for the time. Yeah, that sounds about right. I have I've only heard certain things about it, but not too much overall. Yeah. It is it. But. I'm actually lagging, so I didn't hear a thing you said. So, but I'll assume it's good. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was a big, big motiva motivational speech. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. You'll never, you'll ne when you listen back to it, you, you'll just want to go out and buy the game right yeah, now. It was, it was even mean, better than Bert. It was even better than Bernie's uh, Boston speech on the last podcast. It was that good. <laughs> oh yeah, Did that it have, like that was a. Really, a soundtrack from Two Steps from Hell. That was a really nice way to put how we said that. Yeah. Yep. Well, my my favorite game for those old systems, for the N sixty four, it had to be um, 
I really like Star Fox. That that's the one that just sticks with me because I played that all the time. And I've not played the original. I've only played um, Adventures and Assault and and Command. Yeah. I've not played the original. I mean, if if I had actually beaten it, I might have re I might have really liked the Zelda games, but. And if I'd been good at it, I might have liked the um, the uh, Super Smash Brothers games. Oh, I love those. Yeah. But let me see. Are we counting uh, original Xbox as old games? No, that. Oh uh, yeah, the original Xbox. That's definitely. I mean, the Xbox 360 is about to run its run its course. Then so. I would say Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. That one was awesome. I I um awesome. I love those games back when I played them. I <sighs> still have it. I just don't play it really. Oh, uh, also I I should now that I have it, I should say I like GoldenEye would have been awesome, except for the one problem, that I got it with the original system. My mom saw me play it with it once, and she she hid it somewhere, and we didn't find it till years later. <laughs> What? Why would she hit it? Why? She thought that it was too violent and it was teaching me bad things. But I don't know what the hell she was talking about. The first game... GoldenEye 64. The first game I got for the 360 was Gears of War, so... <laughs> my parents... <laughs> so my parents don't really care about that. My... I mean, my parents don't mind... My parents don't mind that kind of thing... Didn't mind that kind of thing once I turned, like... 13 or so, but before then, it was like, it was like, my mom saw me playing this game, and she was like, oh my god, it's so bad, it's so bad, I've got to hide it! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, There's not a whole lot of, like, violent games for the N64. It's pretty hmm. much okay for, it was pretty much okay for any game, I mean, I played... Like M M rated games like Geist. Have you ever heard yeah, of that? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, that I played that a long time ago. Yep. That's the that's a game where one of the games where I learned to get good at the button mashing. So there was this level in it where the entire time you were just jamming A down. <laughs> I, I sometimes I just don't understand why they put that type of thing in because some people I mean that's not really skill being able to press a button fast some people just aren't able to do it and some people can mode for me but going back to a uh, yeah going back to Gears of War that's one of the reasons I don't want to get another 360 is because the first game I played was Gears of War 2, and the last game I played was Gears of War 3, so I just kind of want to leave it there and be like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Gears, that was the, yeah. Oh, uh, when's the last time you've played a system? Cause... Uh, a year or two. Dang. You've been on PC that long? Yeah, I would say so. Well, I mean, there is, it's quite a wide range. But PC gaming just doesn't have the same feel to it as a console. And, I don't know, I mean, there's also the fact that you don't need to, usually don't need to install. The only thing that I really don't like is when they have the pointless already planning for DLC type of games. I mean, having expansion packs later on is fine, but when they plan for it it's just like trying to drain you out. That's one of the bad things about consoles specifically, it seems like. I mean, yeah, they do do it on um, PC, but it doesn't seem to be as common. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy you brought up DLC because I always, I've been wanting to talk about the Mass Effect Citadel DLC for like the last month. So let's talk about that. It's fucking so do awesome. we want to go into spoil it's like the spoilers or no spoilers? I think uh, I think I, it's, I think it's fine. I mean, it, it's it's a separate little tiny story okay. line. It, it, if you, I, I, yeah. Well, I 
I would say that it's the perfect fan service DLC. I just want to say it was it was good, but I felt like it, everyone it was, was a caricature. It was like J Javik suddenly turned completely and utterly. I like. Uh, I want to kill. I want to be. He's a completely another like that part of the end where he uh, he gets signed up to be part of uh, Blasto what fifty or whatever, and it's I don't yeah, but that was yeah, funny. It's funny. It, Blasto has been part of the franchise for like since the second. Yeah, game. but it was just so stupid. It just it became everything was yeah, a character. Yeah, no, but it's supposed to be stupid. It's like a silly little DLC. Well, I mean that little yeah, part. Yeah, it's like a silly little DLC. Yeah. In the whole clone of <laughs> him fighting him. The, the funny thing is, I I was doing my first Fem Shep run through, so whenever I think of the DLC, I'm I'm imagining it as Fem Shep. <laughs> so female Shepherd clone. <laughs> yeah, as, that was cool though. Is that they did expand the universe because they never really mentioned clones in the previous game. I mean, you always sort of assume that there would be because they are a super advanced civilization, but you know they never really mentioned yeah. it. I overall, I mean, it was a fun storyline to play and. And all that, but I I enjoyed the Leviathan. Like, I, I, I enjoyed the Leviathan um, one a whole lot more because that one it was like this, you know, creepy mystery that you were solving and r running through. This one it was, you know, kind of explained what the fuck happened. <laughs> Let's see, Leviathan. Uh, that one was pretty good. What was the What was the other one besides Leviathan and Citadel? Omega. Okay. I liked that one a lot, mainly because it was, I mean, it, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the first time you see a female uh, Turian, and that was pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, oh, wait, they they let their females fight? Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't I don't know if they let, th I think she's one of those, well, well, you know, purposely going against the norm sort of people. But then after that, you start to see female Turians around in the other in the Citadel DLC. Oh, you do? Yeah, I, I can remember at least one walking around the Silver Sun Strip. It's like, okay. Yeah, it was like Garrus. Was, they had like a little oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Help Garrus. That one that you were trying to help him out. Like, um, get, try to get him with that yeah. one. I, I always just that. assumed that they did show female Tyrion, she just couldn't tell him apart. <laughs> They, have, they, they even have deep voices as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, it, it makes it makes sense, but I wonder why they took till now till the last DLC to actually reveal that they exist. Hmm. Oh, actually, no, the two last two, but either either way. What did you think? Yeah, of, what did you think of, like, away from the actual quest? What did you think about the, the little hotel thing that they did? I liked that. I thought that was fun. What about I you? Can, I can see the purpose in it. I can see the purpose in it because it ends with the clone trying to take over the ship, and if you're already on the ship, it wouldn't really make sense. So it's kind of a way to just take you somewhere else, and like, oh no, the ship's under attack, and then you have to go back. So. I can see why they did it. Well, I mean, if they wanted to get him off the ship, they could have just said the shore leave and then just, you know, everyone off. And they could have just been hanging around the Citadel if they really wanted to do that. Well, like, they yeah, didn't, guess. They didn't need to add the whole hotel thing. it just thing. makes kind of more sense to have everyone concentrated in one area. It was interesting, though, like, seeing... The care, like if you were in a relationship with any of them, you could continue that on that DLC. So it's fun in that way. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know about that part. I wasn't in a relationship with anyone at the time. Um, I wonder 
since they are because I remember hearing that they are going to be making more but the, since the previous three you've imported your character, are they going to do anything? I don't... I mean, since it's not going to be Shepard... I don't know. I mean, there might be something or other, but... I do know. I don't know. Like, like it'll it'll transfer your character over stat-wise, but it won't be Shepard. I know that I'm... I do know one thing is that it will... The, the next iterations of Mass Effect will be using the Frostbite engine from the Battlefield series. Which makes me really hyped about large areas nice. and destructible nice. buildings and whatnot. It, oh, that isn't, isn't the next one going to be like a prequel or something? Like, about... I don't know. I'm not sure. Probably. Just because... The standard formula is 1, 2, 3, prequel. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, prequel. 4, more prequels, in between games. <laughs> <laughs> RTS. RTS. RTS, then semi-post prequel going on at the same time as the last game, and then finally you come out with the new one. At least that's the Halo uh, version. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of hey, how, I actually um, like Halo Wars. how um, Metal Gear was going. Halo, Halo, Halo Wars. Oh, we gotta talk about Metal Gear. I've never played Metal, I've never Metal, played Gear, Metal Vengeance, Gear, but awesome. you guys can go ahead and talk about it. Well, I mean, I haven't played Revengeance yet no, either. I haven't it played Metal Gear ever. Interesting. <laughs> Why not? Because I, it just wasn't. Everyone has that franchise they never played that everyone else seems to play. That was Metal Gear for me. Well, after you heard it, how come you haven't picked it up by now? A, I don't have a PlayStation. And B, they have the Xbox HD collection for. B, two I don't have time. I've got, I've got a <laughs> bunch of games piled up, but on the other, and then I also have college coursework, and that is, I'm going for an, I'm in engineering right now, and that is not an easy major. I don't. It'll probably take an engineering degree to figure out the end of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, though, so. You should be perfectly fine in that oh respect. It was rather strange the way that they just kind of went off on all of that. It didn't. I mean, it didn't seem very important to the story. For Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah. Like yeah, it, was, it was fucking weird. It was like. No one knew what was going on. Even the characters were like, "What the fuck's going on?" Well, I mean, I could like, follow. I could follow what on? was. I could follow what was going on pretty well. Like that's never been a problem throughout the whole series. It just was really weird. Yeah. Like, it seemed to be weirder than it needed to be with the whole AI thing. Even four wasn't. Well, I don't know. Four was also quite strange, but at least it had more structure to it. Yeah. It made more sense, I mean. But Metal Gear of Vengeance, I have to say, is starting a new franchise like that. They did a really good job of making the story make at least some sense as far as Metal Gear games go. I... At first I was not going to try... I'm, I'm just going to give it a try just because it's part of the series and, you know, it seems interesting enough already. But it's fun. It's a really, it's quite fun. I do have to say, I only played like a little bit of it, and then watched actual walkthroughs of it, and it's fun. It's definitely an interesting mechanic, though. I, I'm not too much of a fan of games that just spray out, you know, gore and all that. Well, it's cyborg juice. Uh, you, you attack humans in that game too, don't you? Uh, no, I think they're all cyborgs. Because, like, in the original Metal Gear game, it's talking about the proliferation of, like, mech technology. This is the proliferation of cyborg technology, so... Vast armies of cyborgs. And well, it's still... I remember hearing something that you could avoid... Def um defeating any humans but it's an option there 
Yeah, I didn't see any, you know, humans. I mean, there were well, human you said like, but they were cyborgs. Because you have to be able to, uh, to get your health back, you have to be able to actually pull out, like, a piece of the cybernetic pots and recharge yourself with that, so. And if that was a human, that'd be really fucked up to have to regain your health by, like, ripping out the hoat. <laughs> Yeah, that would be... I mean... I, I have a... The, the details that I have are probably really old. Now, all I know is... Yeah, the, as I know they... All I know is the small, like... That, that guy that looks really, really out of place in, a, in that suit. Jetstream Sam, you don't talk... Don't you talk shit about Jetstream Sam. If Jetstream a, Sam is a prince among men. I mean, if if we if we're ta if we're thinking about the same guy, he, he doesn't look like he belongs. I mean, he might be really cool, end up being a cool person in the, when I actually get around to playing it, but he just doesn't look like he belongs in that suit. Like he just, it's just like oh he's he's there, but like the hair and. Everything and it doesn't look right. If I was to spoil something for you about Metal Gear Vengeance, would you be upset? I wouldn't because um, I know you. Ha I've got absolutely no context for it. <laughs> so, but I'll okay. be spoiled. Well, I'll spoil it anyway. <laughs> he actually isn't a cyborg. He is just a dude that pretends to be a cyborg. Well, that's not that's not that big. I mean. Um, Solidus had a suit like that. He yeah, wasn't, I guess, but... Yeah, he wasn't a the cyborg. The whole thing is that... I think the whole thing is that you spend the whole game killing cyborgs, then you eventually kill him, and you're like, oh, fuck, he was a person. My bad. Well, I mean, I, I guess so, but... Yeah, well, he's... You don't talk shit about Jetstream Sam. <laughs> That's Ever. also that name, really. Well, they're all named after types of wind, like Sundowner, Monsoon, uh, Mistral, <laughs> Jetstream. Yeah, because Fat Man and Metal Gear Solid 2 was such a good name. It, it, well, it fit. <laughs> What's with the Japanese and all the crazy names? <laughs> yeah, and he rolled around on roller skates. What? Time for more bombs. What do we say with Japanese and the characters have to have the craziest names possible? Well, I mean, for this one, it, it's it not changed. its not really um, crazy names. I mean, they all have code names. Okay, That's the craziest the whole... code names possible. <laughs> well, I think just because it doesn't translate properly. That, I mean, that might be... Super happy fun time right That might be right. Yeah. I've been watching the Japanese dub of uh, MLP because it just went to Japan, and it's funny as hell to see how they pronounce certain things over there. Fly white spoke Lu. Is that racist? No, if you're just saying how it was said. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> but, but yeah, anyway, Melga Rising Revengeance is awesome, so play it if you have any doubts. How much is it now? I don't know. It came out a couple months ago. It's probably like 50 or 60 still. I know oh, it, it would be nice it came if out it was Xbox. closer to 30 or 20. Cause... Yeah, you can just wait. I mean, I usually buy like 20 or $30 games anyway. I don't really... The last new release I bought was Borderlands well, 2. For me, the last new one was um, Halo 4 when it first came out, because that was what everyone was getting. Uh, I actually went ahead and bought Bioshock Infinite. That was a pretty damn good game. Except the ending. It make. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it makes you... It makes you despise... Okay, I can't, I can't think of a way to say it without... It wasn't necessarily... You can... You can... <laughs> I don't think many... <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Okay, it makes you absolutely despise the idea of time travel. 
just because it's one of those it gets really crazy at the end with all the timeline with all sorts of timelines and stuff and it just makes you hate time travel and quantum mechanics and all sorts of stuff so much what have you done you'll change the future you'll create a time paradox pretty much pretty much though it's more alternate reality paradox yeah i don't i don't really like the whole just time travel story in any games or show cuz it's always so many confusing rules no about it it's not that they actually do it somewhat pretty good but it's just it's like what the fuck what the fuck is going on <laughs> Uh, but it's a great game, and I really recommend playing it. It's tons of fun. Yeah, it is it's definitely. It definitely seems like a game that's spread out. But I, I gotta wonder: is it? Is everyone saying it's a good game just because it's part of the series? No, it's a very good game. Uh, coming from coming you from can someone say that about Bioshock Two, that's for sure. Come on. Coming from someone who's own, who hasn't played Bioshock 1, who's only played Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite, it's a damn good game. Well, I might get into the series Bios eventually, but I haven't played any of them. Bioshock 1 was good. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like probably like 10 or 20 bucks on Steam. Oh, yeah. If you want to go on your console game. Yeah, I picked it up for like ten bucks on the console, but I've never gotten around to playing it. It seems like I didn't hear what you said. I was I, <laughs> I I picked it up for like ten bucks at GameStop used, and uh, but I still haven't gotten around to playing Bioshock uh, One. I. I think I have it. I'm not sure. That's the problem with being an engineer. You can afford to buy all these awesome games, but you don't have any time to play them. Well, at least you're able to be on RT every now and then. Uh, I'm on RT all the time. If you ever need someone to take over your admin position. No, I can't, I'm on <laughs> RT all the time, but I just can't... But I just... Well, I like I mean, to be. A, it's different because you can do that from anywhere yeah. as long as you have a connection. Yeah, and you can be on RT for ten or fifteen minutes. But I, I just, if I'm going to play a video game, I want to be able to devote about an at least an hour to it, and usually more. But yeah, that's how I feel. But I don't. I don't usually have that much time. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes a whole lot of dedication for that. Um, for so right now, it's about time we um, would wrap up. Yep. So I will end with my usual saying of if you have anything, songs, intros, questions, or whatever, just send it to the forum thread at yahoo.com, mm -hmm. and I'll be checking it. So far, we still haven't gotten anything, but that's fine. Um, I gave you some good questions. You never listened to mine. You haven't sent them in by email, so they don't count. I sent you nuts. That's not a question. Yeah, so... I was going to put a question mark at the end, like, nuts? No, it was just <laughs> nuts. You should have uh, at least say, said, um, <laughs> like, pistachios or walnuts. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying... Just trying to give everyone the daily dose of World War II humor. Is it... How many people would actually pick up on that? I don't know. None of us. <laughs> I mean, I remember that once it was explained, but because that word is used so much for different reasons... You you're not gonna recognize it. Oh, that's from that guy. Uh, I I can just tell you. I know I know a good few people who would get it, but I also know that ninety five percent of the people out there wouldn't. I can only hope. I can only <laughs> yeah, hope so that at least one it. of your listeners, besides me, hat knows uh, knows enough about World War Two trivia to be able to recognize that. 
I do wonder how many people listening to that first one where we mentioned that actually would recognize it. I only recognize it because I read a hell of a lot of military science fiction. That's where I got it from. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to be signing off now. Alright. And bye-bye, people. Later.